Hello and welcome to this video, my name is ArcDQ and today Jagex released the update to the Pest Control minigame. So firstly, there is a graphical rework at the Pest Control area and that's mainly in the minigame, so when you go into the minigame you will see that it looks much more fresh and the graphics are just way better. They made many fixes and tweaks to the gameplay of the Pest Control, but mainly they just improved the HP of the monsters and the portals for balancing reasons. And they also reduced the time that it takes to start the game to 3 minutes, so the maximum amount of time that you have to wait is 3 minutes. While you are playing the game inside the game there's a chance that you get a void commendation and a void seal whenever you kill a void pest in the game. But I couldn't figure out how common this actually is. The rewards were also changed a little bit, so now you can get about double the XP from the commendations that you got before. Which means that at level 99 in each skill you can get about 1k XP for one commendation point. You can also now gain summoning XP from the pest control but the summoning XP and the prayer XP are gained at a reduced rate, so they get less XP per commendation. You can also now buy the Void Knight Armor patches, and these patches enable you to upgrade your Elite Void Knight Armor and increases the armor value and the life point value of the armor. Each armor patch costs 200 commendation, and the way I worked it is that it takes about 1 to 2 hours to get 200 commendation points, so I didn't feel that I want to get it myself, but it might be worth it if you can upgrade the Void Knight armor multiple times. They also changed the loot from the seed, mineral and the herb packs, so you can now get a rare chance to get higher level loot, and also they added a companion to the Korasis sword for the people that have completed the Void Stairs back quest. So now you can buy the Jessica sword and the Jessica sword is an offhand version of the Korasis sword. So all in all decent updates to the best control minigame, but I think with about 150 commendation at maximum per hour, the XP that you get, which is about 150k, maybe at best 200k if people find a proper way to farm it, it just doesn't seem to be worth it at least for a completionist account or a higher level account, but it might be worth it from the semi-high levels or so. Jagex also made some usability updates to the Solomon store pets. So they no longer have a left click option and you can operate them from the summoning interface. And they also loot more items that are dropped on the ground. Finally, I will link the patch note to the description of this video, but as always I'll pick the ones that are interesting to me. So firstly, several items were reduced in their defense stats and those items were actually glitched. And one item that I know was the Red Fremenic Cloak, and it was giving you about 15% block chance to all styles. So I'm glad it's finally fixed and people can't use it anymore since it was way too overpowered. The ability queuing has been reduced to the same DPS as using the manual abilities, so you can no longer get increased DPS by using ability queuing. You can now harvest enriched wisps even though you have your inventory full of regular memories and the enriched memories will just overwrite your regular memories. And lastly, drop is now the default option for barbarian fishes when you are doing some barbarian fishing. But I think that's enough for this time, so I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you like it you can leave it a like and you can leave a comment to my video. You can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. But other than that, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.